Alrighty, what is going on? 5-9 Gaming. We're going to be doing something a little bit new for you guys right here. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Make sure you stick around. We have uh, more cards coming from Goresh, from Palmzor, and many others. So, basically the concept of this is an honest card review, right? We're going to be taking a look at some of these units right here, and we're basically going to be judging them, you know, based on how they actually fill. So that being said, let's go ahead and hop into Ice Shenron, okay? So hopping into the, the first main ability is Blue Pycon. Oh no! Does everything Pycon does, but with exaggerated swagger, and he does it in blue. Sorry, user Varric24. RIP Varric, bro. That man is on the Pycon grind. Requirements, 20 timer counts must lapse. And for his first unique... Bro, who made this? His first unique ability, misogyny. The following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Has a deeply rooted hatred for Pan, Yourself. Has never felt the touch or love of a woman. Currently getting cancelled on Twitter, as he should. I 100% agree. We at 59 Gaming, we do not, these are not our beliefs, these are not our ideals. Uh, I Shenron needs to be taken out of the game. Flicks enemy tag girls, only girls, by the way. That's it. No one else. No one, like, he couldn't do it against Saiyans. He couldn't do it against Super Saiyan 4 specifically. He couldn't do it against Shadow Dragons because he was the enemy of, uh, he definitely did not get along well with Nova, right? <laughs> Only girls, right? With attribute downgrade plus 30% to all costs for three timer counts. And on top of that, he seals strike cards on enemy swap out because everyone, and I mean everyone, strives to be like ultimate Chad Han. Or maybe it's just the fact that they did not have an original thought for this unit. Third anniversary unit, by the way, and he did not have an ultimate. I'm kind of, a lot of people, including myself, are kind of salty about that. Second unique ability, Diabolic Dickhead. All these debuffs, but still can't a hit to save his sorry life. Actually, factuals right there, man. Um, he do be having all these debuffs, though. Let's see, let's keep going down. Nothing changes to Strike and Blast. His blue card... Fr <laughs> oh my god. Freezing Brown Eye. If this hits your red unit, you are most likely debating hitting the forfeit button. Also... Seals a card slot for 10 counts for no, no damn reason. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that blue card, it absolutely smacks. Especially when he does, <laughs> he takes away the vanish. He pops the blue card and it possibly might just one shot that red unit. No cap. So for his green card, don't trust nobody. Not even yourself. POV, Ice gets on his knees. What? He begs you for forgiveness. You've been hurt by many others before him. Maybe this time is different? Psych! Ice has betrayed you, literally gouging your eye out, breaking your heart, and even worse, he destroys your ultimate arts card, destroying any hope of you getting that LF finisher. I think he actually destroys a couple cards, doesn't he? So he <laughs> immobilizes the enemy, 20% of damage inflicted, and 50% to next special move damage inflicted as well. Cannot be stacked, it's very important, I think. And it's... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we don't really care about Tournament of Power abilities, but his Z ability, so 35% to tag GT, but let's be honest, it's more so monkey at this point. I think this basically proves my point right here. Look at this. The first three are monkeys, and then we got Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, then we got more monkey, right? Wh where is Frieza when you need him, man? Where is Frieza when you need him? And then a base blast attack defense and 18%, a whopping massive 18%. To tag Shadow Drag. Actually, 18% is pretty generous. Like, that sounded sarcastic, but 18% is not bad for, like, a secondary ability. Shadow Dragons, we need Oceanus. We need Oceanus to immediately replace this man. We need a strong woman in charge. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and pass this on to the next creator. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yo, well, this is Johnny Koo. Now that the third anniversary is over in Dragon Ball Legends, I decided to look back at the main third anniversary Legends Limited unit, Shafted Monkey Gogeta. So we're going to go through all of their details. So let's get started with the tags. So he's Saiyan, GT, Fusion, Fusion Warrior, and Monkey. The type is Defense type, I guess. I might not have a type. The color is green, and their character name is Shafted as usual Gogeta, since I'm not Vegito. Okay, let's go to the stats. So power 500k. Health 2.47 million, strike attack 50, take it or leave it, strike defense 167.24k, blast attack 0, what is this? Blast defense 168.6k. 
So yeah, this Gogeta is great in terms of health and defense, but when it comes to his power, strike attack, and blast, it, it's nothing. It's honestly nothing. Uh, I don't know why they made him like that. I, 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 he's just good for defense, I guess, but that's it. Um... Main ability, get ready for Kamehameha and not 100 times Big Bang Kamehameha. Draw the ultimate arts card, you'll never see this legendary finish Kamehameha next. You can finally heal after taking a lot of damage even though you're a defense type. Congratulations, purple cannot affect you for a bit. You finally can draw cards now and it doesn't last long. Woo! Requirements, 100 time accounts must elapse. Shafted Monkey Gogeta might be dead by then. Yeah, it's unfortunate. He might be dead until <laughs> you can use that main ability to heal, but whatever. Unique ability, great anniversary unit. Applies the following effects itself when battle starts. Plus 10% to damage inflicted, cannot be cancelled, but it isn't much. Reduces next damage sustained by 10%, can be cancelled. This applies until enemy combo is finished. Nullifies abnormal conditions, cannot be cancelled. Applies the following effects itself when this character enters the battlefield. Restores key by 30, plus 1% of damage inflicted, cannot be stacked. Thank god it cannot be stacked, honestly. I, 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 it would be too OP if it could be stacked. Reduces damage received by 10%, cannot be stacked. Nullifies the tribute downgrade for 15 time accounts, I guess. Now the fun one. Unparalleled fusion, the most pointless second unique ability. You can activate a cover change two times against your opponent's strike arts or blast arts and you can't even land a special move arts after the strike arts cover change. Get two Dragon Balls when your opponent uses their revival transformation even though you were saving your rising rush so you don't waste it on that revival character. Oh yeah, you heal too. So yeah, honestly, um, by the time that revival character, their health turns to zero and they revive with the transformation, I... You're going to have your Rising Rush by then, so the two Dragon Balls are, are, are meaningless. And healing two is kind of cool, but that's it. Strike, strike impact with blast damage armor. You'll only tank the damage at the start of the match. Later, when your buffs go away, you might actually not survive. Blast, so what's this? It does nothing. Special move, Big Bang Kamehameha. Big Bang Kamehameha deals massive impact damage. Honestly, the only good thing about Shafted Gogeta Plus 50% to special move damage inflicted for one time accounts upon activation. Applies the following effects itself on hit, activates once. Draw special move arts card next. Restores key by 50. Wow, this is something else. You'll easily kill your opponent with the second special move. Cannot be nullified by most other special moves. So this is definitely my favorite thing about Shafted Monkey Gogeta. How if you use this special move, you get another special move and you restore 50 key. It's amazing. Special skill, Bluff Kamehameha, applies the following effects itself upon activation, restore some key, plus 5% to damage inflicted for 5 time accounts, gain buff effect nullifies enemy special actions that activate when changing cover when you just want to do some tiny hits for 5 time accounts, rip your opponent's cards in the hand and laugh at the face instead of killing them with a real Kamehameha. Combobble arts, strike arts, blast arts, who? Special arts, just to be super cocky and make your opponent forfeit so you can take a screenshot and show it on Twitter. Special move arts and ultimate arts. Blast armor when charging forward. Why does half corrupted fusions and Masu get the better special skill? Ultimate skill, Kamehameha. You'll never see this legendary finish, even if your opponent has small health. Arts cards held, strike. So, strike, strike damage up, strike cards with plus 1% to strike damage inflicted for one time accounts effect when used. And blast, laugh my ass off. Um, and Z ability is good, plus 35% to tag GT, tag Fusion Warrior, or tag Saiyan, base strike, and blast defense during battle. Alright, it's going to be the end, I can't believe they made Shafted Monkey Gogeta like this, it, it's so strange how he, he, he can tank, but he deals no damage. He's a, he's a true savior for Fusion Warrior and GT. I'm going to be passing this on to the next creator. Hey guys, Gorash here, and today we are going to be revisiting Yellow Turles. He's been out for almost a full year at this point. In fact, I think it's pretty much been exactly a year since he released. He came out right after the second anniversary, so I think it's a good time to go back and sort of revisit this character, see how well his kit has aged, and go through what he's able to do so we can sort of compare him to modern units and um, understand how much this game has grown since last year's anniversary in terms of how powerful these new units are. So let's go take a look at what this guy's able to do here. So his tags are Saiyan, powerful opponent, um, and then he's also on the movie saga team as well. So interesting. Um, so his stats are 14 stars. Let's go take a look here. So 
Um, health is pretty low, 509,000. Strike attack is also pretty low. It's coming up to a, a grand total of about 5,000, a little bit less than 5,000 strike attack. Um, his blast attack's pretty good, 133,000. That's about as half as good as units these days. And then his defense is a little bit lacking. I would say they're, you know, not really too great for, you know, yellow turlis here. And because his stats are so low, the looks like the, um, the little stat graph here is pretty tough to see. Unfortunately, you can't really tell what's going on there just because it's, 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 it's way too low here. So, unfortunately for Yellow Turtle, it doesn't like his stats are holding up as well as you would have I would have liked to see them be there. Um, so his main ability is, you thought I was strong before, watch this. It draws the Ultimate Arts card, Unique Ability, next. Which shows in health by 30% and key by 30, and then reduces enemy key by, who cares? Because it doesn't really matter when you reduce enemy, enemy key by a certain amount when you draw an ultimate, right? Unfortunately for this main ability, it does actually take 120 timer counts for you to get this off. So you're going to be two-thirds of the way through the match before you can get this off, which at that point, honestly, it's not going to be as impactful as you would like. So that's also another unfortunate aspect of this Turles' kit here that didn't really age that well. You know, having to wait 120 timer counts before you can activate this main ability here. First unique ability is actually useful. Shortens allied substitution count by 0.1 when this character enters the battlefield. That's pretty good. Uh, applies the following effects to allies other than this character from the battle start for 60 counts because Terrellis is already strong enough. So, you know, he doesn't need the buffs himself. So you might as well give him to your allies because he's already he's he's, he's already way too good, right? Um, he gives 25% of damage inflicted and 40% of cure recovery. So that's pretty good for the first 60 counts other than himself. So the other two allies on your team on your movie saga team that it's not you know when this guy came out movie saga I wouldn't really say was a very very good team. So they needed to make sure that not only did he not get the buffs, but it only lasted for the first 60 counts. Very, very nice uh, design there for Yellow Turles. The second unique ability is the World Eating Saiyan. The following effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. He gets 30% of damage inflicted, but cannot be stacked. And thank God for that, because he would be way too busted if you could stack this. Imagine if you could stack that every time he joined the battlefield. 30% is way too much. Uh, he inflicts all enemies without to be downgrade, laughs at how bad this unit's damage is for 20 counts, applies the following effects to self every time when faced with an enemy. So again, if you guys aren't familiar with this language means, basically every time you enter the battlefield or the enemy switches while this character's on the battlefield, you get the following buffs. Randomly draws one new card and gains zero key when you have three or fewer cards, and then he gets minus three to strike and blast its cost and gain zero key for 10 timer counts. So getting a lot of key from this, which is pretty good, um, then he has obviously a normal strike attack, he has normal blast attack here, nothing special in terms of effects going on for either the strike or blast there. Special move is the Calamity Blaster, and you can actually teach this, but probably shouldn't, right? Uh, deals terrible damage, and then inflicts enemies without to be downgrade, breathe a sigh of relief that Yellow Turles used a blue card on you for 10 timer counts. The special skill is I released right before Zenkai LF Gohan. Increase his own arts card draw speed by one level for two timer counts, so I'm going to have to make use of that pretty quickly because it only lasts for two seconds. He inflicts enemies with attribute downgrade plus five to sub count for five timer counts on hit because they're definitely going to switch out against Yellow Turles. Remember, this is an effect that only activates once you switch out within those five timer counts. And then the combable arts are, don't bother. The ultimate skill is unique ability, as we saw from the main ability here. He draws the unique ability. And uh, the unique ability does massive explode damage, which is pretty good. And it applies the following effects to self upon activation. Becomes usable. So overall, taking a look at what this Charles is able to do, um, I would say that he didn't really age as well as I would have liked him to. Let me know down below what you guys think of Yellow Turles pretty much after a full year of his release. And if you guys would use him on your teams right now. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this Yellow Turles. Um, me, I'm pretty unimpressed by how he's aged, but uh, let me know down below what you think. And uh, with that said, we'll move on to the next person. Hey, what is going on, 5-9 Gaming? It's your boy, Swift, and we are going to go ahead and go over the Honest Cards review for Green Super Saiyan 3 Goku at Zenkai 7. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's jump in and see what this guy's kit should really look like. So... First, let's make sure we do have him 14 stars, level 5,000. That is very important. All right. All right, right off the bat, we're looking pretty good. His stats are just, oh my God, they're infinite. He's got an infinite power level, infinite defenses, infinite attack and health. Holy cow, this dude must be the best unit in the game or something. He is 
looking really good right off the bat. So let's continue down a little bit to his main ability. Good luck, Kakarot. You win. Low on health, we got you. Type disadvantage, we got you. Need some key along with the nuke of an ultimate, we got you. This is one of those main abilities that just does a little bit of everything. You get health, you get the ultimate, you go type neutral, you get some key. I mean, like it says, you win. It is just a crazy good main ability. And yeah, we'll, we'll continue down to the unique. So first unique, fate rests on this battle. Cannot be canceled. We offer damage, card draw speed, reduced damage, and more. And the good thing is it's all permanent. None of these buffs can be canceled in this unique ability right here. So, you know, this this character wasn't good enough already. We got to, you know, we got to throw him the, those, uh, you know, uncancelable buffs. All right. Next unique, we got Thank You Dragon Balls. Free get out of Rising Rush card. No going to jail. Please collect $200. Um, and in a game designed around swapping units, we get buffs whenever the enemy swaps units. This doesn't seem busted or anything. Um, so yeah, basically this this unique, you get the uh, you know that free cover save where you don't have to worry about Rising Rush. And then you get all these extra buffs every time the enemy swaps units whenever Super Saiyan 3 is actually on the battlefield. So um, it's pretty crazy. Like I said, in a game designed around swapping units, you know, this kind of is similar to Android 18 where you know, whenever the enemy swaps out, you just get a bunch of uh, really, really good abilities. So, like I said, this doesn't seem busted or anything. <laughs> we will continue down here. Resolve for the final battle. Applies the following effects to self from battle start for 30 counts. Reduce damage by 20%. 50% to key recovery and nullifies attribute downgrades and abnormal conditions. Nothing too crazy right there. That just kind of seems like... Um, a regular unique ability so that's pretty honest already um now this one right here even more buffs we thought this unit wasn't good enough yet so you get all these buffs per saiyan battle member in the party other than this character when this character enters the battlefield so like it says we thought this unit wasn't that good yet so we we just had to throw in these extra buffs and of course you're going to be running this guy on a saiyan team um, either Saiyan or Sun Family, but mostly Saiyans. So you're going to get um, Restores Key by 10, plus 20% to damage inflicted, and plus 15% to health restoration. And that is per Saiyan battle member. So that is uh, times two, because it, it doesn't include himself. But still, that is some, uh, some pretty good buffs to have on a unit that is going to be on a Saiyan team anyways. And now we get into some of the really juicy stuff. Obviously, his strike and blast don't do anything. Um, he's got a decent blue card. Uh, reduces enemy key by 40. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here is the green card. The infamous Super Saiyan 3 green card. Um, instant, transmission, instant transmission rear attack. I will always have a green card. Always. This will basically force the enemy to play, to play passively. They won't be able to use a blast card. But if they do use a blast card, it's game over. Boom, restore 50 key, destroy enemy cards, and this will chain into everything. Thanks to him getting his Zenkai. Um, this green card is absolutely busted. It controls the entire game. It's similar to Namek Goku with his blue card. Hey, and hey, guess what? You're going to be running this guy on a Saiyan team. You can run this guy and Namek Goku, and you basically control the way that the game is played. Whenever Super Saiyan 3 is in battle, the enemy can't use a blast card. Whenever Namek Goku is in battle, you know, you always have that blue card. So this is just an overly, overly busted green card. And yeah, like it says, he will always have that green card, or at least that's what it feels like. Um, the ultimate Super Spirit Bomb, Nuke, type, dis type advantage, who cares? Endurance, who cares? You can't stop this, even if you have blast. We got blast armor, GG's. <laughs> so basically just one of the most busted, um, not specifically this ultimate, but just what it does. You have, you have blast armor, you get type, you, or you go type neutral on the main ability. Um, it nullifies endurance. Very, very good ultimate. Um, and like I said, you you really cannot stop this. The only way you can really stop this is with a revival unit. And even then, you're losing a revival. So 
at the end of the day, this is just one of the uh, busted ultimates in the game that we have to deal with, and nobody cares about the Tournament of Power. And yeah, that is going to be it for the Honest Cards review for Green Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Uh, like I said, he's he's one of the best units in the game, even to this day with, uh, you know, we have Revival Gohan being able to counter him. And I would say still, Saiyans is uh, pretty, pretty high up there in the meta. So without further ado, I will go ahead and pass it on to the next guy. And we appreciate you guys watching the Super Saiyan 3 Honest Cards Goku. Peace. All right, guys, Palm here, and I'm here to close out the video. I hope you enjoyed everybody's contributions. And uh, for my honest cards, I picked one of the units that is probably the second most hated and loved unit in this game for a long time. And um, here we go. Android 18, a.k.a. the Busted Lady. Um, obviously, Zenkai 18, because before Zenkai, she was nothing anyone ever wrote home about, I think. Except maybe for hashtag Krillnet. Shout out to D3. So let's have a look at, uh, you know, her abilities in an honest fashion. So we'll start off with uh, her main ability, no problem at all. It's no problem, really. And yeah, if the previous 200 strike cards didn't kill you, this ult will for sure. Also makes that tanky, I mean, girl, even more tankier. She lives even longer. She gets health back. It's annoying as hell. Her unique ability is uh, maybe you'll die and your friends too. I didn't have enough damage to begin with. 40% stat buff to my lackluster stats. Let's go! Android 18 definitely needed those 40%. Um, stat buffs. Especially after she got a Zenkai already. Uh, yeah. Her second unique is the unexpected. Really? I would rather say it's the expected conclusion. And that one makes pretty much all Saiyans go bye-bye. And boom! And she also gets rid of those useless blast cards. Because she picks up a green card every time she switch, switches for, well, actually not every time, but she picks up a green card for three times, which is almost every time. Let's face it. And afterwards, you'll be fine. Well, now what does she pick up at uh, Zenkai 3? Shall we continue? I mean, is that even a question at this point? Yes, we shall. Switch or die? Wait, you switch? Well, you still die. And your friends. And also, I get more key. And I get more cards, and did I mention that you die? I think so, right? You die, you're dead. And uh, Zenkai 6 unlocks the elegant combat, which makes every strike card feel even more like a blue card. Because we definitely needed that. Uh, did you think 18 is OP? Well, here's 25% reduced damage cut. There's nothing more elegant than that, right? Nothing more elegant than getting two carded anyways. And I mean, you can see that in her cards too. Two of those strike cards, you're dead. You're red? Okay, three. That's fine, but... Anything else? Two cards? Bye-bye. Her blast is pretty much useless. I mean, why do you think she has those green cards? And yeah, her boom blue card is just just boom. There's nothing nothing else to say. For her green card, I mean, Toshi made her hold two blast cards for a reason. Or not. And since they didn't want to change it, use the fix. Use the green. Blast cards go bye-bye. So does your opponent. Easy. And her ultimate skill, Deadly Dance. I mean... But if not, then you're dead now. And oh, did you need to use strike cards? Sorry, pal. You're out of luck. <sighs> and the last thing about her is her Zenkai ability. No, her actually her Z ability. She works well with Vados. Because, you know, she's not overpowered or, um, on her own. So she definitely needs that buff from Vados in order to work really, really well. And yeah, that is pretty much my take. My honest take on Android 18. 
Let me know in the comments down below how you liked it. And as always, you know the drill, right? Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll see y'all in the next ones. Five Nine Gamers, have a good day.